Oscar Grant was my nephew who was killed on January 1st, uh, 2009, on the BART platform called Fruitvale Park in Oakland, California, with this man face down with his hands behind his back. Officer stands up, um, shoots some center mass in the back, and then claims he meant to draw his taser to only taser him instead of shoot him. And it became a controversial trial that went, of course, viral, like this here. And the question was, would an officer do that on purpose, or did he honestly make a mistake? The outcome of that was he was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, and he was found guilty with the use of a gun, which was an enhancement charge of 10 years. Sentence with the um, involuntary manslaughter could have brought a minimum of 12 years and a max of 14 years. But Judge Robert Perry, the same judge that settled the Rampart case, and if you understand that case and the details behind that, you know that this judge then decided to take the jury's verdict off the table on the gun enhancement and then gave him a two-year sentence with double time served where he only served 11 months and put him on non-revocable parole. Non-revocable parole came into existence on January 1st, 2010 saying that if this individual that committed a felony with a weapon um, is considered a decent human being that within a year's time they would come off a felony charge and be allowed to reapply at the police station and carry a gun again. It's very personal. We were here last year. Uh, we were invited to speak with the family in Los Angeles um, last year. I believe it was in uh, April. And of course, we're here again um, uh, supporting the family um, at this part of their journey to get justice for their son. But we're going to stand with this family to the end. The parallels are real eerie. Oscar was profiled, and he was wearing black and a skull cap, similar to Trayvon being profiled wearing a hoodie. There was racial epithets used in Oscar case, as well as was racial epithet used in Trayvon Martin's case. Chief G of the Bark Police Department resigned. Chief Lee of the Stanford Police Department, as we know, stepped down. The district attorney head of um, Oakland, California, Tom Orloff, retire as well as the district attorney here of Seminole County had to step away for some issues in the case. Um, there was racial epithets used and one of the most important things that people need to um, be clear about in Oscar case there was video. In Trayvon case we have audio. Even though the video was more compelling the audio is still just as compelling. And another significant aspect Oscar called his girl, his fiance up and told her that they're beating us up. They're beating us up. As we know, Trayvon called up his girlfriend to pretty much announce the exact same thing. So when we talk about the similarities, I mean, it's, it's real eerie because racial profiling is the result of death of many of our young black and brown men in our community. And because of that, we have just in the black community, 313 that was murdered by police officers last year, and 585 that has been murdered by police officers across the country. So we see killings taking place in an unprecedented rate across this country when it comes to black and, and, and brown men. And we need to ask the question, why and when are we going to address it? Because in all these cases, how many officers have actually been charged for that murder? And in the state of California, it's, it's clear, and we need to make this known, is that Johanna Smith was the first officer in the state of California history to be charged, arrested, convicted, and sent to jail. That is really sad, because all these men that are being killed, are not all in the wrong spot or doing the wrong thing.